Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Andrew Palmer. And my name is Channing Kavanaugh. And today we will be talking about um, personalized and blended learning, as well as different educational uh, websites that help children um, with their learning. Yep, so we'll be looking at technology and the impact it can have on learning and how we need to shift away from the factory model of education through the use of technology and personalizing learning. Today we will be responding to um, a video and an article. The video is titled Ending the Classroom Factory Model, How Technology Will Personalize Learning. <coughs> So we'll be responding to that and reflecting upon what we saw and read, as well as, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we will also be responding to um, best educational technology websites of 2014. And one website in specific that we will focus on is Zanzi. Zanzi. Which is a great program for <laughs> students who are interested in being active. <laughs> the first, the video ending the classroom factory model, how technology will personalize education. At first, it talks about how they they discuss that a lot of kids find school boring and it, because it's not engaging to them. And what they mean by that is that they have different interests that does not pertain to what is being taught. Right. And when we're not focusing on student interest, we're just teaching to them. We're not teaching for them. Yeah. So, we're teaching the curriculum because we have to and not because that's what they want to learn about. And it's hard to learn when you don't want to actually learn about something. Right. So for people who struggle with that and they don't have interests, there are different ways to do that. So technology is one of those. By incorporating technology within the classroom, we are giving students another tool to use to acquire information. And there's a wealth of information through the use of technology on and on websites and on the internet. Um, and by allowing students to pursue this information and use tech technology within various subjects, it's more engaging and it personalizes the learning. Personalized means that it is gauged towards each individual student. We're not making a one-size-fits-all model of education. We're going towards each student is an individual with individual needs and learning styles, so we need to personalize learning. And through the use of technology and resources, we are allowing them to be an individual we are providing them with resources that vary. We're not just saying this is what we're going to do. There's one way of doing it, and there's one resource we're going to use. This way, there are multiple resources that allow students to have autonomy and interest-based learning. So what makes the use of technology a more engaging and personalized is the idea of allowing students to pursue what they're interested in. So more of an inquiry-based, interest-based learning style, which is personalized because not every student will have the same interests. By providing students with the tools and resources, much of that through technology, students gain a level of autonomy within their learning. There are some resources that teachers could use on the internet that are better than others. Um, for example, there are there's a website that has the best educational technology websites of 2014. Now, some of these resources allow students to improve on their reading, their mathematics, their writing. Um, there's also a resource that has uh, it has like news articles, and for that resource, there is. A variety of different news articles that have different reading levels so it isn't strictly for say adult use it allows students to be engaged and kind of learn about current events that are happening um, there's also another website that is called Zamzi and to me this one was it was interesting to see as to it appears that a lot of people nowadays they are kind of getting concerned about 
how much screen time uh, there's children or other uh, young children are having. So this Zamzi is an online game which is allows their or allows children to meet their physical exercise using a fun fitness program. So Zamzi it's not um, necessarily designed for school use. So it is kind of more a, an at home or like an after school uh, activity that this children could use. But what makes this program so great is that it allows for students to actually um, earn points towards virtual and real awards. So that is great because it allows them to kind of, you know, kind of have more, allows them to have more motivation to actually get outside and exercise. Um, so I'm, I actually, me personally, I haven't looked at what the rewards may be. But Zamzi is also great because it doesn't limit who can actually do this. Um, it does suggest, though, that students or children um, age, age from grades 4 to 12 should be using this. Um, and overall, it is just a, uh, a unique activity meter, which makes exercise fun, and it allows and it motivates kids to keep going and exercise. As you can see, there are plenty of resources available for teachers and students on the internet. And there are websites, such as the one we use, that have a list of valuable resources. There are these websites that can help teachers and guide teachers and students towards effective and relevant Material. So in that way, we're moving away from the factory model of education. And one definition of the factory model of education from a website we will put down below in the description is that the factory model of education reflects the idea that schools were originally built to train future factory workers during the Industrial Revolution. The belief was the back door of the school led to the front door of the factory. The students should only be taught the essential skills required to become a successful factory worker. Students were not placed into groups based on their abilities, but rather their chronological age. This can still be seen today. Many educators believe the education system is based on the factory model of education and limits the potential of many students. However, this system is difficult to shift and the introduction of technology has begun changing the entire education system. The model of education that we are trying to move towards is a student-centered base. So this means that, you know, say a student is interested in uh, learning about planets. For that, they are able to focus and look up online sources that kind of more talk about planets, you know, the different types of planets. Um, you could even learn about, you know, maybe the student's interest about, like, temperatures or, like, you know, what possibly lives on there for, like, organisms. So, um, online learning kind of gives them more of a chance to uh, find a online resource that meets more of their personal needs instead of just having the teacher come up with what they will be learning. So, it's not necessarily personalized learning in the classroom as much as it is online. So, we did this for our EDCI 336 um technology and education course at UVic and we attempted to follow the course outline and dis discuss a few of the topics for the past few weeks when discussing blended learning, personalized learning and incorporating technology and different technological resources that you can use within the classroom. So we tried to discuss that and um, expand upon those ideas and provide a bit of our own thinking and analysis of it all and yeah so this is what we have and we'll provide all of what we discussed in the details of the video and we'll do better next time unless it's already really good which it's not